Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking an in-depth look at this 2019 Subaru Outback Premium. This Outback comes in crystal white pearl. It is equipped with a blind spot monitoring system, cross traffic alert, pre-collision braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, a driver monitoring system, a tire pressure monitoring system, and a backup camera. Down here you get nice fog lights. This is a 17 inch alloy wheels. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the key. With this car comes two keys. One has the lock and unlock and one doesn't. You see here is this key and then there's this one. They both start the vehicle. You got your lock, unlock, and your trunk in your panic. It is not keyless entry, so you do have to press the unlock button. Once you've done that, you're welcomed by a cream colored interior. So let's go ahead and start it up. This is a traditional key. So I insert it. This car does have a low tire pressure warning on, however, the owner of the dealership assured me that that is being taken care of promptly and will be fixed before the car is sold. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and talk about the door here. You've got your mirror control. So you tilt, you can tilt it up, down, left, and right, and you select which mirror you want to adjust. Leave it in the middle, and it'll just stay. You've got your rear window locks, your unlock and lock for the doors. You have one touch down front windows, but the rear windows are not one touch. However, they do go down all the way. The front windows are also one touch up. You get a padded side here, nice trim. Your door handle. You get a leather padded armrest and your storage and a cup holder. Down here is your gas cap release. You get an array of buttons over here. So here you can open the tailgate. This is your gauge cluster brightness. Here, if you park in a garage routinely, you can use this to set how high you want the trunk to open. So you manually open the trunk and then you hold it down to stay at that height. And so then every time you automatically open the trunk, it will open to the height you set it. That is a very nice feature that Subaru offers. Here is your traction control off, your blind spot monitoring system off. You can turn those off. 
your lane departure warning system, you can turn that off, and your forward collision warning. You can also turn that off there. Down below you get your um, hood release. So talking about the seat, it is it has cloth seats and they are automatic. So you can move forward, backward, up and down. You can adjust the seat back and you get lumbar support. This car comes with all weather floor mats. Get your trip reset button right here. So moving into the instrument cluster, actually, before I do that, I want to mention the steering wheel is tilt and telescoping. Okay, now to the instrument cluster. You get your tachometer on the left, and as I mentioned, the tire pressure monitoring system illuminates there. It's blinking at me because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. If I were to put my seatbelt on, it would stop flushing. Um, you get your oil temperature down at the bottom. And you get a center screen, which from what I have seen is not very configurable. I haven't been able to find any buttons on the steering wheel or elsewhere in the interior that can, that can adjust these screens, which is kind of disappointing given many cars, especially even, even by 2019, have very customizable in, um, center screens. With that being said, you still get a decent amount of information here. You've got your speedometer, a digital speedometer in the middle. You've got your miles per gallon up here, right? So if I'm, if I were to be driving, when I'm not on the accelerator and slowing down or coasting, it would be in the plus and it should light up green, indicating that I have a positive or good mileage. Um, uh, I'm being efficient, right? In the middle, you see that array of lines. That is your lane departure warning, or lane departure warning system, right? So on either side, if you veer out of your lane, it will illuminate, blink, ding at you, do whatever it does to tell you, hey, you're getting out of your lane, you need to come back. So, moving further down, you see the thing, the um, little box with the P in it. That will show you what gear you're in. So if I were to shift into reverse, neutral, or drive, it would show that there. And then, if I shifted into manual mode, it would show that there. There are only two gears when in manual mode. Um, and then below that, you have your odometer. This specific Outback has 74,134 miles on it. Off to the right, in this tube, you get your speedometer and your fuel. And you get kilometers in in there, in case you were to drive to Canada, or somewhere else that has kilometers. Okay, <laughs> on the side of the steering wheel, you've got your blinker stock. You, you, your fog lights, you pull it towards you for high, to flash your high beams, push it away to turn your high beams on when your headlights are on. Twist here, you got automatic headlights, or twist up to turn them on, and I will show you those now. And while on the topic of lights, here is the hazard switch. So moving on, on the right side, we've got our wiper controls. Push it up for one time, and you can go down through the intermittent twist here for the rear wiper 
twist all the way down or all the way up for the rear wiper fluid, pull towards you for the front wiper fluid, and adjust your intermittent wiper here. So looking at the steering wheel itself, as I, you've got, bleh, you've got paddle shifters on the back of the wheel. You've got two arrows, which I'm unable to figure out their use. I, I um, would have thought they would be used to control the instrument cluster, but they're not doing anything. So if anyone knows, let me know. Here's your volume control. So if I were to turn the radio on, And then here you can go through your different sources. You can go through your AM, Sirius XM, or your FM. Here's your voice command and your phone buttons. Here you have um, two buttons that do do something. They look through here and you can see some things in the top. Um, so you can look through your average miles per gallon, the time, the outdoor temperature, the radio, your tire pressure monitoring system, and your speedometer. But like I said, very minimal custom ability, um, customization. But it gets the job done. You got your little horn. It's very, very loud, even from the interior. On this side, you've got your cruise control and your distance pacing. So moving on to the center of the vehicle, you've got two air vents here and your hazard switch. You've got your infotainment system here. You've got a CD player. And the eject button. Here's your volume. Um, you press it to mute it. Um, and then here is your home screen. So looking here, you've got your phone. So you can go in there, add a device, You've got your Subaru Starlink, your settings, so you can scroll through there, adjust anything you may need to. Oh, and there's also your audio settings, your phone, and vehicle settings. Here you can add a shortcut. Here are your apps, you get your Subaru, Starlink, AHA, Pandora, Travel Link. Here you have your car info, your driving statistics. got media if you were to plug in something it would show up here and that's where you would control it there's your radio so you got your AM your Sirius XM and your FM and then here you can you press sound you can go in and adjust where the sound is going and then here you can scan through stations, you can replay, and then you've got all your presets. There are 18 in total. And then there's two blank pages. So, moving here, here's a shortcut to your home page, shortcut to the phone, shortcut to the apps, shortcut to your radio and buttons that you would use to seek through stations 
Moving down to the climate controls, you get heated driver and passenger seats, which would be nice on a hot day. Um, no, it would be nice on a cold day, but today is a hot day, so I will not be using those at the moment. You see your time displayed here, which ans answers the question of why it isn't displayed in the center screen. You've got your, um, where the air is blowing, the fan speed, and the outdoor temperature right there. Here are your controls. You can adjust the driver temperature, the passenger temperature. You can put it on auto. This will, this will adjust the fan speed to um, cool down the car in the most efficient way. Here you can turn the whole system off. You, these will adjust your fan speed. Here you can turn just the AC off if you just wanted to have the fans blowing. This will put it on max AC. There's your recirculating air control. Your you sync you can sync the driver and passenger. Um, this will change what where the air is blowing. Um, your front defroster, your rear defroster, which is combined with your mirror defroster. Moving below that, you get a little storage cubby in here. And in the back of that, you get a auxiliary and USB ports. You've got a little storage cubby and two cup holders, your electronic parking brake, your X mode, and your, um, that. I can't remember exactly what it's called at the moment. Here's your, um, center console. Decent size. And your gear shifter. There's a button on the back, you press that in and pull down. If you go into reverse, you get a backup camera and lines that will follow the wheel. Then if you can go into drive here, that was in reverse, you go into drive, you go over to here, you got your manual mode, you can't shift it from here, this is where you would use your paddle shifters, but like I said, there's only two gears when you do that. So looking up here, you've got your sun visor, it will come off here and swing to the side. You got your grab handle. You've got your lights, your reading lights. They will illuminate when you open the door. You got your microphone right here in the middle, your SOS, and the toggle for door or off, and a sunglasses holder. In your rear view mirror, you get what direction you're facing and your garage door openers. So now, let's go take a look at the rest of the vehicle. So coming around to the back seat here. Your window control. Like I said, it is not one touch. You get your same padded panel and leather armrest. Your cup holder down below. You get rear all-weather floor mats and seat back pockets. So talking about legroom, got plenty. I fit in the back of this car, I have plenty of headroom and legroom. Thigh support is great. So yes, good job Subaru on a great back seat. Other than that, there really isn't much to this back seat. You do have a numerous ways to fold down the back seats, though. They are the same cloth cream color that the front seats are. You got your center armrest with cup holders in it. 
So, you can either press this button to fold them flat, or you can use this to adjust. You can push it forward or recline it. So that's the back seat of the Subaru Outback. Moving around to the cargo area. Pull, push the little button in the bottom. And again, an all weather mat in the back. Here you've got your cargo cover. Little cover like that. You get 35.5 cubic feet of storage and a third way to fold down the seats. You've got these little handles here and if you pull them, it folds the second row flat. Underneath this mat, you get a little area where your um, tire changing tools are. And under that is your spare tire. Got a little storage cubby in the side. Little tie down straps, another storage cubby in this side. And to shut this, you press that. So to open the gas cap, you can't just press it to open it. You have to go all the way back around to the driver's side, which can be a little bit aggravating, especially if you forget to do it and are on the complete other side of the car. With that being said, you pull that tab there. opens right up. The Subaru Outback gets an MPG of 25 city and 32 highway. Taking a look at the back of the center console here, you get a little storage cubby and a strange um, cover, but underneath of it, two USB ports. A look at the dashboard from the back seat. And your glove box here with your Subaru, all the books, carpeted or cloth um, glove box. It's a pretty good size. The passenger seat is manually operated though. You pull the tab moves forward backward to adjust the back you pull up the tab on the side so now let's go ahead and talk about the engine to access the engine bay you can come into the bottom here pull that tab walk around to the front of the car there's a little tab in here and it opens right up Here you are looking at a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, boxer engine. It's 
compared to a six-speed CVT transmission. Puts out 175 horsepower and 174 pound-feet of torque. Let's give it a listen, shall we? This 2019 Subaru Outback Premium is currently for sale at Autoline Pre-Owned in Atlantic Beach, Florida. It's for sale for $23,990. If you're interested in this vehicle, come out to Autoline Pre-Owned off of Mayport Road in Atlantic Beach, Florida or visit their website at autolinepreown.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.